live mula sa Phil Oil Flying V Center dito sa San Juan City. Nagpapatuloy ang semifinals ng Open Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. Magandang hapon, Pilipinas. Dito lang po yan makikita sa S&A. Sumasaludo sa pusong palaban ng lahing Pilipino. With Game 1 taking place just yesterday, ngayong araw makikita natin masusubukan ang conditioning, ang character, and ang will ng mga four top teams in the PVL at sisimulan natin ang araw with the Lady Jet Spikers taking on the Lady Warriors. We will see will the Lady Warriors be able to prolong this series and of course a little later on ang Water Defenders naman ang susubukan na iprolong ang series contra sa Cool Smashers. A jam-packed day of volleyball action ang makikita natin dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center. Glad you could join us dito sa SNA and on SNA HD Channel 166 and of of course, via the live stream on the number one sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com. Ako po si Jing Hamlang, joined today by the one and only Noreen Go for this one. Hi, Jing. Excited to be here. You know, actually, today's game, uh, tale of two, two teams. Eh? One team hoping to ride on the momentum eh, with their win, a spectacular game, and uh, a lot of people called it argu arguably an upset. And the other team, hoping to channel their emotions and exact revenge and hopefully hopefully force this into a third game. And of course, completing the trio here, our panel at large, Janine Choi. Good afternoon, mga kapamilya. Good afternoon, Jing and Doreen. It's day two of the semifinals here in the PVL Open Conference. At napaka-exciting ng kaganapan natin ngayong hapon. Unang-una dahil tinalo ng Lady Jet Spikers ang ating defending champions from previous conference kahapon. At nakuha pa nila ang Game 1 sweep. Punta naman tayo sa kapuna ng Lady Warriors kung saan nahirapan silang hanapin ang kanilang winning combination. Kaya naman hindi nila nasuportahan at natulungan ang kanilang top scorer na si Myla Pablo. Very difficult when you have only one scorer up against the trio of scorers para sa Lady Jet Spikers. You talked about it being a bit of an upset in yeah. people's minds. Ngayon puntahan natin ang semifinal picture and to see sino nga ba ang kailangan na talagang uh, kumayod ngayong araw para ma-prolong ang series and to force a game day on Wednesday. If not, eh, de diretso na tayo patungo sa finals on Saturday. Yeah, you know, Jing, it's pretty straightforward. You can see the Cool Smashers with a 5 set win yesterday. They're up 1-0. and uh, zero. So if they win today, they're in the finals. As for the Lady Warriors and the Jet Spikers, the Jet Spikers won, as you said, as you mentioned, yesterday in straight sets. They're up 1-0. To none. So if they win today, they're also in the finals. So it really depends on uh, who wins in the, today's game. Very potent naman yung lineup that the Lady Jet Spikers. But of course, because of the success in recent years of the Lady Warriors, kaya natin parang naisip, medyo parang upset ang nangyari yesterday. And one thing that was really a problem was some player lang was really doing well for them. And it was their uh, leading scorer, Myla Pablo. Actually, Jing, mayroon tayo hinandang VTR feature kung saan mas makikilala pa natin ang Lady Warrior na si Myla Pablo. Malalaman natin kung paano ba siyang nagsimulang maglaro ng volleyball. Mga kapamilya, panoorin natin ito. Yung uh, Pablo, umatake na naman. Five all, Pablo ulit. Wow, solid back to back points. Patuloy na tumitindi ang lakas at galing ng bagyong humagupit ngayon sa Premier Volleyball League na si Myla Pablo. Pablo! Pablo. Tubong tarlak si Myla. At pang siyam siya sa sampung magkakapatid na nakahiligan din noong maglaro ng iba't ibang sports. Nag-start ako mag-volleyball mag since grade 5. Nainganyo lang ako kasi mga pinsan ko, naglalaro, mga kapatid ko din. Para, para nagustuhan ko lang talaga na uh, maglaro. Hindi ko naman except na uh, yun yung magiging event ko na volleyball. Bali grade 3 pa lang sa Kinwanas yan. Ayaw ng tatay niya sumali, tumatakas lang siya. Pag uh, hanapin siya ng tatay niya, wala na nandun na sa si eskwela. Kahit na nung bata, ganun talaga siya mahihain. Laging nakayuko. Ayun, masaya kami ng tatay niya dahil uh, sa kanyang kinabukasan. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, minsan lang mangyari sa buhay mo. Ingatan mo lagi yun. Kanya may la. Mabait, wala akong masasabi. Lahat ng sinasabi ko, tinutupad na. Masaya ako. Pasar isang taon, hindi kami nakikita. Sa TV lang, parebe po sa kanya. Hey, 
at kamakailan lang ay binalikan namin kung saan siya nagsimula. Sa Mabini Elementary School. Teacher ko po, itong grade 5. Ito po ako nag-elementary po and then nakita ko po yung mga teacher ko po since grade 6 po. Thank you very much for visiting us. Isa kang karangalan ng Mabini, Herona, Tarlac. At sa St. Rose Tarlac, ang kumbentong pinanggalingan niya noong high school. Pag gusto yung makita yung school ko po, pero sa labas lang. <laughs> Pag may mga kasalanan kami, pinapapunta na kami dito. Lagi. <laughs> kami nila Gail and Reggie Morido. Kamusta na kayo? Okay na ako. Sino coach nyo? Sir Ren. Galingan nyo ha? Good luck. Ay sana nag-chopping kayo. Every time na napapanood ko sa TV, masayang-masaya ako. Pinagmamalak ko siya na naging estudyante ko, naging part siya ng St. Rose Catholic School. Team captain number 17, Myla Pablo. Nag-iba ang mundo ni Myla nang mapunta siya sa Maynila para maging student athlete ng National University. Nung una ayaw niya kasi ayaw niya siguro malayo. Dalawang beses pumunta si Coach Francis para suyuin siya na bumalik ng ENU. Nasuyo naman ni Coach Francis ng pangatlong balik niya. Yun na yung sunod-sunod na siguro na pagsikat ni Myla. Masaya ako na naabot niya yung mga pangarap niya. Kung saan nakapagtapos siya sa kursong marketing. Sobrang happy kasi lahat ng paghihirap ko sa training and then sa pag-aaral ko, ayun, natapad naman. Ako yung tumutulong sa family ko ngayon. Parang kahit, alam mo, kahit paghirap na hirap ka na, parang gano'n, parang mas namibigay mo lang yung gusto nila. Gano. Ay, gusto ko talaga is um, FA talaga. Parang ang sarap kasi po, di ba? Parang iba-ibang lugar ang pupuntahan mo. Sabi ko sis talaga, after volleyball ko, mag-aaral mag ako ng pan-attendant. Dumating ang pinakamalaking break kay Myla nang makakuha siya ng dalawang finals MVP at tatlong kampiyonato para sa club team ng Lady Warriors. Kung hindi man kayo makapag-champion sa UA, parang doon ako bumabawi sa mga club team. Ayun nga, like, nung hindi ko na ano yung UA ko, inaisip ko talaga na hindi, siguro kaya hindi ko napapanal for yung team ko, siguro kulang pa ako. Parang sa ng feeling, nagkaka-award ka, kasi lahat ng paghihirap mo, na-apply mo sa laro. Kaya tulungan po ako yung sa Anthony, mga boss, kaya hindi pa ako ilang ako pinabayaan. Kung ano yung kailangan mo, ibinibigay po talaga nila sa akin. At ngayong Open Conference, isa lang ang target ni Myla ang makamit ang fourth championship in her professional volleyball career. Salit po ako sa inasaan ng team ko. Eh, nabibigay ko lang po yung best ko, kung makakaya ko. And kung ano yung papagawa sa akin ng mga coaches ko, gagawin ko po para sa kabuti ng team. You know, Jeng and Irene, one thing I love about Myla Pablo is that despite her great talent, she continues to be so grounded and so humble. Mga kapamilya, make sure you tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports and also use the hashtag PBL on ABS-CBN for your comments and insights on the match. Also, please check out our exclusive Instagram account at ABS-CBN underscore sports. Make sure you visit the number one Philippine sports website, sports.abs-cbn.com. Also, make sure you like, share, and follow our official official Facebook page, which is now close to a million followers at Premier Volleyball League. Also, Jeng, dito sa V-League, meron tayong karagdagang feature, ang ating mobile photo booth, kung saan ang ating mga fans na present dito sa San Juan Arena ay pwedeng makisaya kasama ang kanilang mga paboritong atleta, katulad ng nakikita nila sa screens nila ngayon. Alright, thank you very much, Janine. We're going to be checking in with Janine in a little while for more of her reports. Grabe, yung feature niyon on Myla Pablo. You can see she got a little emotional on the bench. I don't know how that's going to affect her game. She's in tears. I mean. Later on. Pero grabe naman yung kasi yung journey niya from, from Tarlac and making it to the UAAP, becoming a standout para sa si NU. And of course, nakita natin siya in the past few conferences being the finals MVP with the Lady Warriors. Yeah, very inspiring. And of course, we saw her journey. We witnessed it. So, you know, you can feel for this player. She's going to be looking to extend this series. At kami dalawa ni Noreen ay hihimayin namin ang matchup between the Lady Warriors and the Lady Jet Spikers sa aming pagbabalik dito sa SNA. Na 
Malalapit na tayo sa simula ng Game 2 between the Lady Jet Spikers and the Lady Warriors semifinals in the Open Conference ng Premier Volleyball League dito sa SLA sa mga saludo sa pusong palaban ng lahing Pilipino. Glad you could join us live mula dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center sa San Juan City. Jingham Lang and Noreen Go. Excited to break down the action between these two sides. Of course, nag-meet sila for Game 1 just yesterday and that was a win para sa Lady Jet Spikers at madaming nagulat. It was a straight sets victory. And we covered an Air Force game quite recently at alam naman natin, napaka-motivated nilang makalab makalaban itong Lady Warriors in particular. You know, if we show them the stats in a while, no, we, we can see that they obviously improved on stuff we mentioned, which was because they were receiving pretty well in even their previous games. They can't convert. Right. But the previous, the last game against uh, the Lady Warriors, it was, you know, they obviously they improved on that they already had 41 spikes and uh, that time they were spiking about 20 something so we saw that they worked on their offense and they were converting and here are the numbers to to make that really clear no 41 spikes for the lady jet spikers just 28 blocking with the lady warriors is way five to one service lady jet spikers seven to five so for the Lady Jet Spikers, you're pretty happy with your offense. And what you want to do in today's game is to improve in your blocking. Well, for the Lady Warriors, they're the same problem as we mentioned about the Lady Jet Spikers a couple of games back. They have to learn to convert because in terms of reception and digs, they're pretty close, no? right. pretty even. But 28 spikes, so you really need people to step up more than Myla Pablo. And also, they need their first ball because I watched a couple of plays yesterday, Jing. Really, their first ball, they were struggling. So that's certainly something to improve upon para sa Lady Warriors. But first, let's stay with the Lady Jet Spikers kung saan nakakuha sila ng two players in particular that were really impressive in Game 1. Mary Ann Pantino at si Josimar Tapic really carried the scoring load for the Lady Jet Spikers. Yeah, you know, these two players, we've known them. We've followed their uh, career. And, you know, it's just but right to keep mentioning that Marian Pantino, 12 points, Josie Mertapic, 11 points, because they've always been solid for their team. And what's nice also for the Lady Jet Spikers, they beat their other people's contributing as well. You have Joy Cases, you have Del Palomata, right. you know, Joy, you know, everybody is contributing to their cause. And speaking of Mary Ann Pantino, nakausap siya kanina ni Janine Choi asking her, how were they able to be so dominant against the Lady Warriors and how can they improve? In game two, panore natin to. Mi an sa palagay mo, ano yung dahilan ng pagkapanalan ninyo kahapon? Um, sa tingin ko yung enjoyment namin sa loob na every point uh, sinisalibrate namin kaagad, then yung kapit namin na kapag nalalamangan kami, mamahabul kami kaagad. So saan pa kayo pwede mag-improve sa pagpasak nyo ngayong game two? Um, saan pa ba? Uh, siguro ano lang, yung sa depensa at saka yung sa receive namin. Doon kami mas nag-focus kasi. Kaya nagagawa namin yung mga play namin. Yun. Maraming salamat, Mian. Good luck sa inyo, mamaya. Balik sa inyo, Jing at Noreen. Maraming salamat, Janine. And not really a surprise na pinag-usapan ni Mary Ann Pantino that the chemistry, yung pagsasamahan nila on the court is a factor here in this game. We see them, they, they seem to have so much fun when they're playing together. Yeah, she mentioned that. And oh, you know what's nice is we can actually feel it. Uh -huh. We see them talking, we see them communicating, we see them enjoying, and it's coming out their game. They're playing so well. And that's going to be a key once again. Dito sa larong ito, contra sa Lady Warriors, who we talked about it. Ang bagyong Pablo ang nagdala sa Lady Warriors in the last game. I just had to say it, one of the best nicknames yeah. out there. Bagyong Pablo. But she unfortunately had to do it on her own. She had 14 points, pero wala na siyang katulong. Noreen. Yeah, which is sad because uh, they are the de defending champions, you know, the reinforced conference defending champions. And we've seen how their, their team really can play together as a cohesive unit. But in the last game, it was just her with uh, 14 points. Obviously, they need more other players to step up. And, uh, you know, like Desiree Dadang played solid, but uh, she needs to add more points like, and help out. Kai Nipomoseno as well. So, you know, the Lady Warriors really got to go back to the drawing board and know that this is a team effort. It can't be just one player. Bagyo man no hindi. That's right.
Desiree Dadang was the second leading scorer of Parasa Lady Warriors, and she only had six points. So that really goes to show how much support Myla Pablo needs. And Janine Choi caught up with Myla Pablo earlier on. Let's listen to this. Myla, para sa yos, ano kaya nagkulang sa game one ng semifinals? Um, para po sa min, siguro nagkulang talaga kami sa team leader, and nawala po kami talaga ng receive, um, defensa and blocking talaga. So yun talaga yung alus lahat kami na wala naroka hapon eh. So um, yun nga sabi ni coach Rico talaga is yun lang talaga pinakaan talaga is receive talaga para makapagplay ng ICG. So nawala talaga kami kahapon ng ba bawat lahat kami na wala naroka talaga. Mayla, dahil konti lang yung time niya para mag-adjust ngayong araw, saan kayo dapat mag-concentrate entering Game 2? Um, siguro nung um, game namin kaha kahapon, ngayon ang Game 2 ngayon, siguro um, nanood lang talaga kami ng game kagabi kung ano yung mga kulang namin. So yun nga, nag-usap-usap lang kami kung ano dapat namin gawin. Siguro magsimula kami sa team leader talaga and receive talaga. Maraming salamat, Mayla. Good luck sa inyo mamaya. Balik sa inyo, Jing at Noreen. Can they shake off an off game yesterday in game one. Medyo uncharacteristic ang nakita natin mula sa Lady Warriors. It certainly should be a closer contest this day around. Yeah, I mean, they want revenge. Mm. They want to extend this into a, a rubber match. In game three, they're not the defending champions for nothing. So we're expecting them to go all out, go all out you know, forget about the last game or learn from it and uh, hopefully win today. Excited to get things started. Dita Safil Oil Flying the Center. I'm sure you guys are excited as well at home. We are looking forward to all of your tweets. Send it over our way at ABS-CBN Sports and use the hashtag PBL on ABS-CBN. Nasa Instagram din po ang ABS-CBN. Just look for at ABS-CBN underscore sports for exclusive photos and videos, I believe, as well. And don't forget, there is a Facebook page that we are looking to get to 1 million likes as of the moment. I think as a 913,000 So please continue to like that page. Head on over to Facebook and look for Premier Volleyball League. For all of the updates and the live stream, pundahan yung number one sports website sa Pilipinas, sports.abs-cbn.com. DJ Tronics in the stadium providing the tunes when we return. Set one action between the Lady Warriors and the Lady Jet Spikers. Don't go anywhere. for this match. First referee, Mr. Nestor Bellio, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Let us welcome our Hair Fairy Air Force, Lady Jet Spikers. The son of their team captain at number 12, Air Woman, second class, Joy Gazelle Cases. At number 4, Air Woman, second class, Iyari Yonko. Wearing jersey number 6, Air Woman, second class, Marianne Pantino. At number 7, Air Woman, first class, Wendy Ann Semana. Number nine is Del Palomata. And number 17, Air Woman Second Class, Josemer Tapi. Libero, number five, Air Woman Second Class, Marianne Balmaceda. Head Coach, Technical Sergeant, Jasper Jimenez. Presenting our Pocari Sweat Lady Warriors. Team captain is number 12, Giselle C. At number 7, last conference's second best middle blocker, Jeanette Panaga. Number 8 is Maricar Nepomuceno. Number 9, Elaine Casila. Number 16, Siemens Desiree Dada. And the reinforced conference's final MVP, number 18, Myla Pablo. Libero is last conference's best libero, number five, Melissa Gohim. 
head coach, Mr. Rico De Guzman. This is game two. Tignan natin dito ang starters para kay Jasper Jimenez. Itong uh, Lady Jet Spikers and of course, the usual sa nakikita natin with the inclusion of Del Palomata as well who has secured a starting spot here in Game 2 of the semis alongside as well as the Game 1. Lady Warriors, same ang nakikita natin lineup para kay Rico de Guzman. Myla Pablo getting the loudest cheers upon the introductions. Center, number 12, Giselle. Here we go, game two on your way. Asilag. May angat dun yung Panaga. Napomuseno. Collected off the block. Yonko is going to attack. Passes para kay Pantino. Ang unang putos, mabubuta sa Lady Jet Spikers. You know, that was a great set, you know, by uh, Joy Cases. It was a perfect set. It Seemed like it came from a center, <laughs> and uh, Pantino just gets that point. So a good start by the Lady yeah, Jet Spikers. Yonko. Serving for hair fair. Yonko. Over reception there. Uh, I think it's the problem for them. It's the first ball that it's is the priority goals. here. And so far, we can see an early mistake from the Lady Warriors. And you know, it's actually uncharacteristic for Myla Pablo because we watched her, you know, last conference and she was receiving well, she was digging well, but so, so far in this series, she's kind of struggling. But the Lady Warriors respond. Jeanette Panaga, quick hit down the middle. Yeah, you know, that should be a confidence booster for uh, the Lady Warriors because look what you can do with great deception. Yes. If you can go to your combination place at that time, Jeanette Panaga. Jeanette Panaga, dalawang puntos lang ang na-score niya in game one. She's already halfway to beating that. <laughs> Pantino into the block. <laughs> so her goal Three is two. To one. <laughs> Pushing the cushion back up to two, the Lady Jet Spikers. And Pantino, hey, Pantino set to serve. Bad dance the reception, so so bright. Yeah, another Four miss one. received there. Taken advantage of by Joy Casas there. Quick thinking. Service. Yeah, and if you're the Lady Warriors, you have to be, you know, wary about committing errors early on because you don't want the Lady Jet Spikers as I speak another hair there. After that win, obviously, they have momentum and look at them now. They have a 5-1 lead and you don't want them to, you know, continue right. using their momentum. Montita there, maging putos. Para sa Lady Warriors, they're calling an early time out here. Let's listen in. Easy ball service. The focus is on trying to get that first ball sorted out. And we have an opportunity to check in with Janine Short. Jing at Narin, kanina nakausap po ang open hitter ng Lady Warriors na si Elaine Kasilag. At sinabi niya, na sa tatlong beses na natalo sila ngayong PBL Open Conference, dalawang beses sa elimination round, sa pool smashers at sa water defenders, at isa naman kahapon sa Lady Jet Spikers. May isang one thing in common, at yun ay off silang lahat. Nawalan sila ng service, receive, blocking, at mahalo. Kaya naman kanina kumaga, pagkagising na pagkagising pa lang si Elaine, ay inisip na kaagad niya kung paano ba siya makakatulog sa kanyang kumpanan para hindi na maulit yung nangyari kahapon. Ang sinabi ni Elaine, dagdag pa niya, ay gigil at determinado silang makabawi ngayong araw at gagawin nila ang lahat ng dapat nilang gawin para ma-extend nila ang serying ito sa Game 3. Balik sa inyo, Jing at Noreen. Maraming salamat, Janine. And certainly there was a response there from the timeout. Back-to-back court spot is the Lady Warriors. Yeah, they have to be extra aggressive, really, at the net. You gotta see those blocking. You know, they actually blocked pretty well the last game, but they need more from there, you know, Dada and Panaga. Service. Panaga can't just score two points. Right. I mean, that's crazy. And you saw a look of relief from Mokali Giselle C. Nung convert sila ng malinis na puntos. Topic is blocked. 
Albacete will do the setup job for Cáceres. Pablo, soft touch. Pinaloko dun si Simana. The Jets spikers get a point off of Cases. That's a smart hit there. She just knew where to bring the ball. Easy does it. And you know, the defense, you're talking about the defense. That's a great example. That's slow mo. Casila was standing, yeah. watching, where she should be covering. Pablo straight into the net. Did not go over that. So after a mini run, Mola Dito sa Lady Warriors. The Lady Jet Spiker is able to restore parity on that cushion of four points. You know, uh, the Lady Warriors should take from that timeout. You know, Coach Rico called an early timeout because he already knew what was going on. So the Lady Warriors, they have to act amongst themselves. They have to talk. Look at the Lady Jet Spikers really enjoying themselves. Matapos ng putos nyo mula kay Del Palomata, papasok tayo sa unang technical timeout. We'll be right back. Slight look of concern sa mga mukha ng mga taga-suporta ng Lady Warriors. They are five points behind early sa first set. And meanwhile, baliktad naman ang naramdaman ngayon ng mga taga-suporta ng Air Force. May chances sila dito na Dumenecho na patungo sa finals if they seal this game and so far so good. At least yung momentum from yesterday nakikita natin dito sa first set. Yeah, I guess the addition also of Del Palomata in the lineup, I mean, starting the game, obviously, you know, it's a big difference for them. Maybe the morale or the camera, everything. All the aspects of their game has been working for them ever since she joined the first six, or the starting six. But a response here will ask the Lady Warriors from that timeout. Back row attack for Elaine Casilag. Yeah, just find the line there. Semana Fuhulog Sana Napasa. Mimaila Pablo. Back to back points once again for the Lady Warriors. Yeah, we talked about the Lady Warriors' reception woes. We gotta shift our. our, our uh, Attention to the Lady Jet Spikers. They cannot relax. You know, they'd have the momentum. They have an 8 to 5 lead, now 9 to 5 lead. They still have to make sure that they work for it. You know, you play to win. You don't just hope that the, the, the Lady Warriors just give the game to you. Service error para kay Nepomuceno. Balik sa apat ang lamang. C will go to Pablo. Oh, great take. Casas needing to cover ground, touch the net on the follow through. Yeah, she knew that. Good call. Sayang yung palo niyo, nalakas pa naman wala dito kay Joy Casas. Kita kita. Yeah. Yeah, but what about that dig by Wendy and Semana? Yeah. Ian Pantino set to receive here. Good reception from her. Caso, three ball. One-handed set by Giselle C, but na blanco ni Yonko. Etong si Jeanette Panaga. Great read, great anticipation. Single block there. And the coverage, you know, let's talk also about the coverage of the Lady Warriors. They got to work double time today. They're factor against the wall. If they lose today, there's no more tomorrow. So they got to work extra hard today. The Lady Warriors, of course, chasing Continued glory. Sunut sunut na pagkapanalo ng mga titulo dito para sa Lady Warriors. They certainly want to keep that run going. Great hit, mula kay Pablo. Semana was there, but this time that was too strong for her to control. Right down the line. I've seen that before. <laughs> Backwards to Yonko. Oh, good dig. Boy, Padito para sa Lady Warriors. Semana's gonna touch it up for Palomata. Did not cross the net. Well, Lady Warriors cut the lead down to two. 
Yeah, a couple Service. of mis miscues this time for the Lady Jet Spikers, who we said that, that they cannot get complacent here in this first set. Not a smooth connection with Palomata. Like I said, that will do the setting for Yonko. Good dig with Ahine Pomoseno to keep it alive. Casila got through the double block. And uh, Lady Jet Spikers salvaging that point. Yeah, but the, the, that's a wasted opportunity for the Lady Warriors. A bit too eager there for Jeanette Panaga. You can see the Lady Jet Spikers all pointing. Oh, it's a net violation. Shayun. <laughs> Back set for Panaga, now Basa na naman, and depends on Dito. Ng Air Force. And Mary Ann Pantino. You know what you gotta love about the Jet Spikers, at least here in this first set, it's the commitment they're giving to every ball. The, for me, that set was kind of an overset already for uh, Mary Ann Pantino. But she, you know, she made do with what she had, and she still got the point. So, Mobrang Alang in service Dito ni Del Palomata. First service error on the part of the Air Force. Yeah, and uh, when you look at the front row right now of the Lady Warriors, you see it's a full front row. You have Casilac, Nicomuseno, Panaga. They got to take advantage of this rotation. Passes. Malusutan dun si Panaga, but on the second occasion, beautiful kill block. Yeah, the three there. You know, that's really a smart play. I love this slow-mo, no? For those who want to so learn how to play volleyball or still want to improve. Even if it's a missed receive from your teammate, you can follow. Mm -hmm. Follow through, follow up. You can block my regalo. Pwede mo i-block eh. That's exactly what Jeanette Panaga did. Isa na lang ang lamang dito ng Lady Jet Spikers after that one went wide. Slight look of concern sa mukha ni Jasper Jimenez. Of course, you don't want to give the Lady Service. Warriors the momentum also here in the set. They are the defending champions. Semana, combination to Pantino. Chelsea going to Nepomuceno. And she's able to tie this game up. Yeah, they're playing, they're, you know, they're playing, they're playing it smart. Talk about the Lady Warriors. Dropping, getting placement shots. Time out on Air Force, pahinga natin. Basta yan, hatiin nyo na. Ah, uh, ang ato natin yung receive natin. Kaya tayo nakabot. Apat ang pinigay natin is receive. So, play natin dito. Dito sa kapila natin. Dito, kung hindi mo dito, pinigay natin. Pero pag magandang pasukan mo lang ha. Dito ang play natin. Yeah, diba? Yeah. Yeah. Mente. Pasukan mo lang. Basta itong play natin. Basagi mo dito. Basagi mo dito. Basta bawat saka. Jet force. Jet force. Last for Jimenez. Ay talagang uh, binigyan ng pansin yung first ball well, na ang Philippine Air Force. Sabi na yan yung rason kung bakit nakabalik sa laro ang Lady Warriors. We will see if they remedy that off of this serve mula kay Giselle C. Oh, great serve! Straight in for an ace. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to see coming off a timeout. You give away a service ace. They take the lead here for the first time in the game. Good oh. Oh. Yeah, Watched all the way there by Marianne Fantino. Allowed it to go out wide. Overreach. Overreach. Ni Josie Marpat. Tapping na so sobra yung receive. She got a little over eager. Or was it Pantino? Yeah, it was Pantino. Pantino, cross court. Nangat ni Casila, palo ni Pablo. Yonko, great defense. Bad 
love that 15, one. 13. Yeah, you gotta love the anticipation right now of the Lady Warriors, Dadang Red Dance, really well. So both teams, uh, or, or at least here in the first set, using their back row attacks to their advantage, Service. but this time, a blocking got in the way of the Lady Jet Spikers. Panaga has taken less than a set to equal her total from game one. One attack point, one block point for her. Right into the hole. And the Lady Warriors take us into the second technical timeout. And Baluna, ang kalamangan nila dito to 16 to 13. They're up by three. Welcome back to Lady Warriors fans. A nabuhaya dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center. Enjoying themselves in this Good Vibes Freeze moment is brought to you by Creamline. Magpa Good Vibes, Mag Creamline. What a difference between the first technical timeout and, <laughs> and the second. We saw the, the facial expression of the fans. Huge. And DJ Tronics taking us into a throwback mix here. And the second technical timeout. Really being enjoyed by the Lady Warriors fans in particular. Up by three, they've turned things around. Did us a first set, and that was a great serve. Well, I like Jeanette Panaga service ace. Another one by the Lady Warriors. Yeah, you know, Coach Jasper did talk about the reception, and uh, they haven't been responding. You know, talking about the Lady Jet Spikers. So what actually was the weakness of this Lady Warriors is now the weakness of the Jet Spikers, which is the first ball. So that one into the net. Uh, yung run dito ng Lady Warriors, there's been a change in Libero for the Lady Jet Spikers. I believe it's Chrysostomo who's checked in. Error on the rotation Position here para sa Lady Warriors. Give up a free point. Yeah. They're still contesting the uh, call. Erlindo Eusebio spotting the infraction. And frustration on the side here of the Lady Warriors, but they receive well. Semana, Pupuntahan si Casas. The coverage. Yeah, beautiful coverage. Second opportunity. Casilla. What a block there, Molakay Wendy Semana. Cross court, and Semana is there. Good read. Angled shot. That spike was well dug up by Goni. Yeah, but uh, it's too far for Giselle C. Try to punch it over, but it goes out. Casas. Really well angled. Havold the Lady Jet Spikers has really taken no time at all, Marine. Their level at 17. Then you know what's gonna come in to be a, to be painful, that rotation error. Oh yeah. You know, I mean they had the momentum, they they commit that and two straight errors, so we are now tied. You know, that's that's a painful error for the Lady Warriors. If it was a service error, a rotational error. And now the Lady Jet Spikers back in the lead. What a first set we're seeing. Yeah, and it's a seesaw battle that we're witnessing right now. But you gotta love what the Jet Spikers are doing. You know, they refuse to give up. The momentum was clearly with the Lady Warriors, but the Jet Spikers just stayed there. Soft touch. Dada over to the left side, angled well. Back level. Yeah, you know, the Lady Warriors have got to realize they scored a lot of points with those tips, uh -oh. those drops. You know, they can see the hole in the Jet Spikers' defense. And why not go to, go to those uh, drop balls? Another point for Dada. Saying hello to very difficult name to pronounce there, Jesh. Here again, go for Kari Kaiyan, Tuwala Lao. And they have taken the lead here. I'm sure you're very pleased. 
hybrid Lawrence. Yes, Giselle C. PBL on ABS CBN Game 2. Go for Cardi Sweat. Uh, up by one now. I'm sure they are Service. pleased, the Lady Warriors fans at home. Yeah, and uh, that girl has unleashed that pagyo, so to speak. <laughs> Pablo. Pablo scores uh oh. Again. Starting to get momentum here, Maya Pablo. Yeah, and they need more of that from her, really. Yes, she scored 14 points the last game. I believe she can score more points than that. Dean Casilla set to serve. Oh. That goes well over. Substitution. Let Gaetano. Yeah, obviously for reception purposes. Okay, two sets in game one. And two points. Good reception from her. Oh, Pablo, grab it. Yung pagkapatay dun sa bola niya. Yeah, but what about that first ball from Phil to Inglet Caetano? That was perfect for that setup, and Pablo just makes no mistake. Casas with the reception. Palomata's gonna send it into the corner. Yeah, smart tip there. Lady War is expecting. Normally in the center, but this one corner pocket for Del Palomata. Mabasa Isa. Couple substitutions for the Lady Warriors. Uupo muna si Giselle C. At si Nepo Moseno. Got Serafica in the game. Yeah, and Heather Ginoa. Yeah, but from a veteran center to another one, veteran center in uh, Janet Serafica. Combination. Angled hit down the middle. 20, 20. What a set there, but again, you know, the reception of the Lady War is really improving towards this latter part of the first set. <laughs> 22 to 20. Wesley Dadang. Palomata, Nae Balek. Yonko, Nakalusot. Yonko, Ostaba. Yep, we were actually about to mention her and uh, that uh, she was, she's kind of silent here in the first set, but there you go, she gets that kill for the Jet Spikers. So Yonko with just eight points in the last game. A key weapon by Sir. Jasper Jimenez. Another good reception for Lakay Cayetano. It leads to an easier setup in Milo Pablo. Finishing it off. Yeah, she is on fire here in the set. What's up, Dito? Actually, there's a timeout on the floor. Let's listen in. Uh, Pablo. Uh, Panaga, Panaga, Lambert. Ah, huh? Lambert, Panaga, Chaka, si Ano. Ito, pag nasa harap si, si Ano, si Maybe. Kahit saan pumunta yan, yan ang babantayan natin kasi ito ang, uh, ito ang ace delay. Diba? Kung pumunta dito, kung dito galing, ang palo niya, patong. Patong na lang pag maganda ang receive, patong. So, receive muna tayo. Atake ah, tayo bago tayo, din, bago tayo dumipensa, okay? Isang Guys, isang magandang receive. Guys, kapag tayo kalaban na. Oh. Hey, yes! Okay, to 21, it's crunch time in the first set. Yeah, but the challenge right now, the Lady Warriors are ahead by two, but the challenge right now is Maila Pablo is at the back. So who's going to step up right now for the team? That's the big question. Not the best reception. And you cannot give Jeanette Panaga those kinds of gifts. Yeah, she, at least you mentioned it. She has outplayed herself <laughs> for today's game in the last. Absolutely. Semana para kay Palomata. Two players going for it. Twenty-four to twenty-two substitution. Del Palomata, uupo. Yeah, there's a Pando coming in, but they're facing set point. 
Camila Lavanco brought in to serve. Almost a service ace for her, but napaganda pa para sa Lady Warriors. And they take the first set, 25 to 22. Already an improvement mula dun sa game one performance nila. Yeah, you know, it's really a different Lady Warriors team today. But we still, we're not counting the Lady Jets bikers out. This is just the first set. It's game on here at the Bill Oil Flying V Center. Magbabalik kami with highlights and statistics. Don't go anywhere.